good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am planning on doing today a little bit of decorating for spring and easter bringing out some bits from the storage box but before we do that myself this one and tom are going to go out for a walk this morning we're thinking potentially about going to um the arthur swallows antiques fair which i went to twice last year it is the first one of the season so it's fairly early so i'm not sure if it's going to be as busy as the one that we did towards the end of summer but it's in nutsford so we thought we could tie that in with like a morning walk there's tatton park there we'll just have a little bit of a mooch make a coffee to go and just start our weekend because it is saturday for us start our weekend with a fun little activity like that so that's on the agenda for today i'm also going tomorrow so i think i'm going to vlog over this weekend i'm going to meet my mum and potentially dad i'm not sure if my dad's coming or not but we're going to go to we we'll take barney again because obviously he comes over well with me we're going to go to a place that's kind of like in the middle of the two of us over towards leeds the neptune outlet at red brick mill i think that's what it's called red brick so we're going to have just a mooch for a couple of hours, maybe grab a coffee and um, yeah, so that should be nice too. So we're bringing you with us this weekend and I'm excited to get out some little like spring Easter decor bits to put around the house. I did mention in my last vlog, I think it was, that I would, for like new viewers or just to bring existing viewers up to speed with things, a bit of a run through of a house tour so this is by no means like a finished house tour this is just I'll just take you through what the house is like literally walk you through so you can visualize that our house every single room to the point of the really <laughs> the rooms that I wouldn't usually take you in aka messy need an organize and a big sort out rooms so yeah we'll do that as well at some point within this vlog but as for now let's get on the road let's head over to arthur swallows antiques fair they've got a really good instagram page if you want to follow if you're into like the antiques the thrifting that kind of thing because i think they've got like 50 odd thousand followers or something and they often post like videos of like upcoming fairs that they've got throughout the summer months they've got um they like tag all the brands that are at the fairs so you could go ahead and like follow those individual brands and see what we don't need to see that mr barney oh thank you for the goodness thank you thank you anyway oh you're tired you've been sleeping all night you've been snoozing all night oh anyway oh did you hear my hip click then let's let you out for a toilet in the garden and then we can get on the road thank you a bit of a snarly kiss but i'll take it if i had a boat i would sail out take every brother and sister of mine we'd roll in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark hoping to find somewhere we can calm but it's black A 
Okay, so it is freezing. So cold. It, mind you, it only says seven degrees. It's just the wind. Wow. Um, anyway, yeah, we had a good look around. I didn't actually pick anything up today. There were a few things that I would have got or that I liked the look of and would have bought, but just don't really have the space for it, which is a shame. Well, I suppose it's good for the old bank balance, but yeah, it was nice to have a browse anyway. I think we're gonna head back now via a farm shop or get some food and maybe I'm thinking roast dinner. So yeah, we might just head back via a farm shop to grab some food for today. Oh, and hello to the few people that I did see whilst I was walking around. What did you think of the fair? It's just all right there, you just gotta get lucky. It's yeah, it's one of them. It's like an outdoor old TK Maxx. An outdoor old TK <laughs> Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the. We are home. And we went via a place called, what's it called? The Smokehouse. So let's do a little grocery shop haul. We have, oh, it smells good, blueberry tart. It's got a s'mores brownie. Some cheeses for a cheese board today. Some berry black pudding. We're gonna have some sausages now. And um, we've also got some more cheeses. Brie Stilton. You've got big Stilton, considering you're the only one that eats yeah, that. Yeah, well, I can take it from my mum because she likes it. Okay, also a Cheshire. Smoked streaky bacon, smoked salmon. Some arancini, which we bit into, but it wasn't as nice cold. So we're gonna heat that up and have that now. And then we also got a huge focaccia for our cheese board. And then a stock ups for the pantry. We've got some sweet potatoes, parsnips and carrots, peppers and oh. onions. Oh, I've heard that this tuna is meant to be delicious. Now it was so expensive, so it better be good. <laughs> I mean, this tiny little tin was £5.45, but we'll try it. Got some mint jelly and some strawberry jam. For our cheese board, we've got some big chutney. And then, oh, I didn't realize you got all of this. Chicken liver pate, is that for our cheese board as well? And then some boccaccini, mozzarella, and tomato salad. That's it, a couple more Tom Toms. Tom Toms, carrots. Why did I say Toms? No idea. Tomatoes, I was thinking. <laughs> um, and we're good. So what's the plan of action in terms of what we're starting with? Should we heat up this arancini? Yeah, you do that. What should we do, air fry and microwave? Uh, yeah, so get the air fryer because I need to do the sausages as well. Okay. First thing I will show you in terms of like spring decor, <laughs> I bought these from HomeSense not too long ago and I've just had them sat in this bowl ready to pop out. So essentially this bowl in our living room is not for you. <laughs> we've had with like our Christmas chocolates. These are all our sort of leftover Christmas chocolates that you know it's just when you get down to the dregs of the ones that you don't really like. <laughs> the dregs of the chocolate. I mean obviously there are some that I will eat like Golden Barrel. Um, yeah these are just caramels, Mars. But yeah these are the ones that we're not that fussed for. So I was gonna remove these but I thought no what I'll do is I'll just get some Easter chocs and pop them on top. So that's what we're gonna do. And these were £3.49 from HomeSense. I'm hoping they're quite yummy because they weren't the cheapest. And look how cute the designs are. Oh, little animals, like farm animals. Little rabbits. These ones have got dogs on. Oh, they're from the house of Dorchester. Fine chocolate. And that's what the branding looks like on the back. They even look nice just like that, you know, for Non Easter. And there we have it. Our little Easter bowl of chocolates. What's that? Our Oh, because I'm such a to the beef. The book. Now 
that we are back home, I've just pulled out the two, I thought I had one, but I've actually got two boxes of spring decor bits. So I'll show you those in a second. But just again, like I mentioned that I would do, give you kind of like a brief overview of our house, the layout. If you are new here and you want to see a kind of house tour, mini house tour, we're gonna whiz through everything. Anything that you see in terms of wall colors, doors, door handles, furniture, anything, carpets, vases, whatever it is that you see. If you want to know where it's from, just message me on Instagram. I'll send you a link if there is one or just tell you where it's from. Starting at our front door, this is where you walk in and you have a little bit of corridor. So plan is to get some kind of a little console table here with a mirror. And then if I stand at the front door, this is the kind of view you get. So up the stairs or turn right into our living room. So this front room have obviously quite a few things still left to do, still need some um, prints that need to be hung. We've got Barney's new bed in here, which is very cozy. He loves getting in here. It's literally like a big cocoon. And then in this second half of the room, we've got more of a kind of space, like what I would like to class as a bit of a reading nook with the Bookshelves here with the ladder that I've just propped up against it. Those bits actually need to go downstairs. They are for the utility room, but I'm gonna have a big clear out and organize of that. And then over this side, we've just obviously got like the um, piano, little pedestal table over there. In here, it is, it's what is the old pantry? And we actually just have in here the two bean bags, but there is, let me just pop the camera in. As well as the two bean bags, there is a door that goes just outside which used to be the old back door. And then this is the view of the living room from over this side. Anyway, moving on, I'm gonna try and be speedy with this. We'll keep with downstairs. We come down the corridor into the downstairs loo in here. Again, I've got some more artwork to go on the walls in here. But otherwise, we've just got a good old Downstairs loop. And in here we have our main kind of extension. Essentially this roof here, this kind of sectioned off bit here was the old house, the rest of it. So back and out was the extension of which we did like a little inbuilt pantry in here. The main kitchen here, which is from DIY Kitchens. We've got the kind of living space sectioned off here and then more dining, just excuse the mess. It is obviously a bit hectic at the minute, but you guys said, rather than a prim and proper fresh and finished house to just show you where we're at. My favorite part about this room are the double doors that we went for in like a kind of crittle style as opposed to a bifold. So then if we come back down the corridor, there is now a door here down into the basement. And I have done a full basement tour like before and after video. So if you wanted to see that in a bit more in depth, then I do have that video. But in here to the left, we just have a utility space, which is definitely gonna get a bit of a makeover soon. My plan is to really have this room more of like a styled space as opposed to uh, coats and shoes everywhere. I have that antique bench that you saw. I want to put it there with the peg um, board above it. So this is kind of like more of a styling space and then actually have our coats and shoes and stuff in the storage room. And then through here again, we've got the left room. We've got a little storage section here, which obviously at the minute we're just storing wines, spare kitchen rolls, toilet rolls, waters. We've got a chest freezer there and um, fridge for like spare excess freezer and fridge bits. Then this is where it gets a little bit hectic in here. And we've obviously got the whole comm section here. Just have lots of storage boxes. I've just taken the two spring ones out from there, but they usually go in there. Otherwise we've got autumn decor, some Christmas decor, the Christmas tree and stuff on top. All of this needs a proper organize and sort through. And then eventually once we've cleared it all out, all of this that's just in the middle of the floor will get, well, it just won't be here anymore. So we'll be able to have, like I said, a kind of rack for coats and like extra shoes, maybe even pop them on these shelves somewhere. But yeah, for now, it's a bit hectic in here. Let's move swiftly on to the corridor. So again, corridor leading up the stairs. We also have under here the 
old French workbench which I've got stored with just some spare bedding in and stuff that we had left over from Christmas so again that needs to go in the storage room once we've cleared out the storage room same with like some spare paints and stuff that I've got here that just needs sorting through so that once we've got space in the storeroom all of that will be in there plans are as well to maybe have some kind of understair wine cellar storage as well I think that would be really nice but that is more long term then we go in here into the bathroom I think you have wall mounting that mirror there so that there is a full length mirror down here but otherwise we're just a plain standard toilet so if we head on back out into this last and final room we just have the sofa bed set out as a spare bed this is from emma so the mattress on this is so comfy it's basically just a bed it's not a sofa bed well it is a sofa bed obviously but it's that comfy that it's I would rather sleep, if it was me and Tom stopping over, I would rather sleep in this bed than our spare room double bed because this is bigger, it's comfy. I think because of the size of it, it's that a little bit bigger. But we can obviously use it as a bit of a fun like cinema hangout room or we're thinking maybe even a gym in here in future. But for now with this huge TV, it is set up quite nicely to be able to have it as a bit of a cozy cinema room in here we have too many dog beds in this house i, I appreciate there's like a dog bed in every room which don't even get used so we could probably donate that one but anyway this is what that's this room is looking like for now hidden behind here just in case you were interested it's just some double doors leading outside whereby you can get up the stairs and out into the garden so in here we're thinking of just painting those breeze blocks white and maybe popping like some plants or something down there or if it was a gym in here to have like the weights rack out there we go all the way back upstairs next floor we have kind of a bit of a walkway corridor section here and then the first door is the main family bath which I use as my bathroom so it's the only room uh, or the bathroom in the house that has a bath in it as well as the shower nice big walk-in shower here which if you guys remember didn't actually used to be here that was a wall here which we knocked through into the spare bedroom to allow for a bigger shower in here rather than a shower over the bath then into what is my kind of filming room walk-in wardrobe room yeah i just use this mainly for filming my videos we still have bits to do like i said um snagging bits like that bit which has been filled needs to be repainted over but otherwise this is my filming room Okay, moving through to the corridor. We decided to half panel this corridor leading into our master main bedroom. So I'm gonna come over the other side of the room so you can see it in full. So yeah, we decided to do that half paneling in the corridor and then continued it onto a full wall that was paneled here and also the opposite wall paneled here. If you remember, we used to have the Ikea wardrobe here, but then since having the Hammonds fit the other wardrobes, I removed that wardrobe. And now we've got this little nook here, which I think would fit a nice arch mirror in there maybe like a chair in front of it so I'm on the hunt for those two things but otherwise this is our main bedroom the bed is from the Cotswold company let's head on through into the next room which is the spare bedroom it's a double room at a squeeze like I said it used to be quite a generous size of bedroom but because we added this en suite and also that is where the back of the sh like my shower is in there but as for this as an en suite it's just got a corner shower toilet and sink unit and then we do need to add some kind of like a sliding door or something for a bit of privacy so that this room has a ensuite bathroom with a door again i need to organize and style up this again it just got a bit chaotic with switching out rooms but i've just got a load of coffee table books that need rejigging around the rest of the house but let's head on upstairs to the top floor now which is a room that i probably wouldn't want to show you ordinarily because it is Tom's kind of floor so it gets incredibly messy he's having a big sort through of loads of stuff at the minute so it's going to be extra chaotic in here we just brought up this mirror from the range that I had downstairs in the kitchen and it just kind of warps like distorts you as you stand far back from it so um it fits quite nicely in this room because it allows Tom to have a, a full size mirror full length mirror and you never stood that far back from it, so it's not warped at all. In here, we've got his ensuite bathroom, again, looking incredibly messy. We also have some 
Eve's storage in here, which goes back quite deep and definitely a space that we want to style up and have as a proper, maybe like shoe storage in here. And then as for the other side, you walk through into, I would say like wardrobe space. Again, we're looking to do like a bit of a makeover on this room at some point. We pretty much have like all the furniture and stuff like these bits are from like the old house. That sums up the house. It is the next day. I have, hold on one second, there's a, one of Barney's dog hairs on the camera. I ended off yesterday pretty abruptly for no other reason than we just sat down, we made a cheese board, we put the TV on and we just had a very chilled Saturday afternoon. So yes, I thought I would pick up the camera again today because I still have my spring boxes with a few bits that I want to pop out later on this afternoon. But I have come this morning to a place called Red Brick Mill, which I've been to before and showed on my vlog briefly, but it's um, it's basically like a mill in Batley or near Batley. And you might be able to see there, there is a Neptune outlet here. So I've decided to uh, come here today. I've bought Barney because everywhere here is dog friendly. There is Red Brick Mill, which has like some furniture and bits in as well, but really i'm here for the neptune um so yeah we are meeting my mum here my mum and dad are coming actually because i think they're doing a couple of things local to here so i said i would meet them here not here yet though so i'm just sat waiting and i was listening to diary of a ceo podcast driving over the weather is not is not very spring like today let's just say that it is a drizzly it's cold it's wet and miserable so yeah we're just gonna have an hour or, or two here just having a, a browse and yeah that is the plan so i've already been on our dog walk this morning although this morning the dog walk was nice and dry it's like this rain's come out of nowhere along the drive so yeah that is on my agenda i will show you what is in the neptune outlet for anyone that is local or is thinking about paying a visit they do also have noticed though they've got an instagram account so that might be quite good to follow like i do so that you can see any like new uploads so if you are like me a bit of a drive away from here you kind of know what's going to be in stores so yeah i will take you around with me show you what's in neptune and then head back home and get out some spring decor this afternoon and wish and will some sunshine <laughs> there they are hello <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Gorgeous. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. on through here i'm back home now bags in tow and he's like oh what have you got it's not for you it's not for you <laughs> no no it's not for you let's get a little bit comfier shall we so yes i am now back home after a lovely little shopping trip out it's actually a bit later than i thought i would be back so the day's getting away with us and I know I had all intentions of decorating the house for spring, which I will still maybe pop some bits out. But first, let me share with you the bits that I got from today. The mill itself has a little shop in it called Found at Red Brick, it's called. And I picked up a couple of bits I picked up last time I was in as well because they have some like gorgeous brands in, including Dales for Farm, of which I picked up another one of these toilet cleaners, just like a little bleach to go. I put this one in the downstairs 
blue and the one that we've got in there currently is almost out and then i also stocked up on another spare washing up liquid if you remember recently i showed you my new glass uh, bottles that I have by the sink so I said about decanting this because a it smells amazing and b it's clear so clear in a ga glass bottle unlike fairy or another brand which is like bright red or bright blue this one is clear now I know there are some more affordable brands but this honestly smells amazing and it's it's about four pounds so it's not too bad then I also picked up my favorite scented candle this one is so funny because I am obsessed with this scent, a vine tomato, yet my mum hates it. And I'm just like, oh, how can you not like it? Isn't it funny how scents are just so <sighs> personal? Because for me, this is the perfect scent to have in a kitchen, to neutralize odors, to just have burning. And I've had a little mini one which I've finished burning now. So yeah, I picked up this one. This one is 28 pounds, so they are kind of pricey, but it smells fantastic. I do have other scents as well, if you think vine tomato isn't very you. And I picked up this, which they've wrapped in some paper, but I'm actually giving this to Tom as a bit of a birthday gift. When are you watching this? Let me just check the dates. In fact, it's fine, he won't watch this video. I've got him a few little bits for his birthday this year um, as we are going away. So this is just one thing. He's got a um, cup that he got this size for um, espressos, flat whites, that kind of thing. And yeah, the one that he has this size he uses all the time and there's only one that's that size. So I thought I would pick up another one. And this one, I actually prefer to the other one that we've got. This one is like a real nice, bronzy kind of color it was 12 pounds now as for neptune the outlet there we did pick up a couple of things from there as well firstly this bag which has a pretty big box in i did ask about the new season color of which she said we've not got any bags and she, sh she thinks they're coming to stores soon the bag in the new season color and the new season colour is a bit of me. So best believe as soon as those bags are reaching the shops, I'm going to be heading there and making some more purchases just to get the free carrier bag. It's the most perfect colour for me. It's, what do they call it? Olney white or something like that. And it's a really nice creamy beige colour. So if they do the bags in that colour with, I'm assuming it's going to be black writing. I just think I can I can picture it now actually using those storage bags within like a wardrobe or storage within a bedroom using for um, display. Obviously, I love this color and I, yeah, love that one just as much. But the other one that I have, the pot is pink. I'm not as much of a fan of. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's just actually show you the bits that I got. So this first item is actually all boxed up. Let me see if I can get into this. So they had these trays and I've spotted these trays in store before at full price and really liked them. So when I saw that they had them at the outlet at a reduced price, I decided that was my opportunity and my sign to grab it. Now I'm thinking this Honestly, this could be styled up in several places, either on like a bed, either spare bedroom or our bedroom. I currently have a small wicker tray that I have on the bed every single day. I kind of put the throw over, put the tray on, have my little journal on there, sometimes a candle. And this is just a little bit bigger, so it will allow me to style up a bit more. So maybe have a little coffee table book on here or something, as well as the journal. Or I'm thinking probably more likely how I am actually going to style it, either on the footstool in the other room, because that sofa that we've got in there has like quite a big footstool. So to be able to pop it on there and again style up with like a nice book, read diffuser or even some magazines or something. Um, or another place that I thought was on this table. So this table, very rustic, as you can tell by the texture there, but I'm thinking again, this styled up on that table with some books or whatever, coasters, whatever it is. Um, it just kind of helps the styling look a little bit neater. These were full price 75 pounds, but it's called the Corinium tray in white. And they were reduced down to, I think it was 50. I also got a, um, oh yeah, I saw this apron. I do already have a plain linen apron, but again, for styling purposes, 
We've got like a little, I'm planning on having some peg hooks within the pantry. I thought I could have it hung up on there as like more of a display apron. So yeah, this one is the Francesca apron in this gorgeous print that they do. They do this in quite a few different um, sort of areas. They've got like the throws, the cushions, the material that you can buy and use for upholstering yourself. They had the bed frames in, or, or they had the bed frames with this print, but the larger of the Francesca prints. But anyway, this one was 40% off original marked price. It was 36, down to 21 pounds. Then these I saw and just thought they were gorgeous. So I picked these up for our kitchen. How they've wrapped everything for me, it's like Christmas. I'm wrapping everything. They had these in this color, and then they also had them in the same kind of bluey, tone as this print but i decided to go for the darker brown color and these were reduced from 27 pounds down to 13 and they're a set of six egg cups oh let me just open it so if you know the only range it's got this essentially this is the pattern it's like a leafy floral type design this would make a lovely housewarming gift for someone don't you think so yeah you get the full set of six again each individually are wrapped and they are just little egg cups i think the blue ones that they did were the same price as these kind of like brown ones but yeah i just much prefer this color so i decided to to go for this one so it's the only other time i can see us ever needing six egg cups is if we're hosting for brunch and we're having boiled eggs but you know to have a full set i just think it's nicer to to have that so yes I picked that up at the bargain price of 13 pounds and then last but not least i got this beautiful vase and they had quite a few of these in actually so if you like the look of it yourself i'm pretty sure with the outlets you can actually call up pay over the phone and they can post them out to you i think don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure you can do that and this uh oh, look at the color of it that kind of like green injection within our house that i love but in a real rustic, deep, earthy, kind of distressed looking vase. Good for some longer stems. I do actually have some stems from Neptune, which I could get out. They might be in my spring box actually. And I feel like they would look lovely in this, maybe popped on the dining table. So this was reduced from 70 pounds. It's the Witten Large Vase in snow and it was down to just 35. That is everything that I picked up today. Let's pop out some of these bits. Let's style up the spring bits that I've got to show you what's in my spring decor boxes, and let's get the house feeling a little more spring-like. I did get some daffodils this morning from Barney for Mother's Day, and um, Tom popped out yesterday and he came back and Barney was like carrying the flowers in his mouth with a little um his collar on with a little card in it for mother's day it was just fur baby mothers need recognition too you know and he's very inquisitive as to these two boxes of spring goodies so i thought i'd just give you a quick overview of what i do have so this cushion which i'll probably pop on the sofa actually is from home sense We've also got some other home sense finds, including this gorgeous wreath. We've got some wooden and ceramic bunnies, these like home sense carrots. We've got these ones from last year as well, thought in a bowl somewhere, even maybe with those that would look lovely. These glass egg jars, which I might pop some like mini eggs in or something. Some kitcheny bits, which I'll pop away in the cupboard for any kind of baking and cooking we do, like these little napkin rings kind of like jute rustic love them got some oh i forgot i had these these are a set of eggs from the white company look how aesthetic and beautiful this set of eggs are so we've got some glass ones some white ones and i also have my wreath my gypsophila wreath which i love this is honestly like a wreath that you could have out all year i feel these are the stems that I was saying that I've got from Neptune, actually. So I could try those in the vase, see how they look. And then we've just got a couple of other bits like that's not too, I mean, it's obviously seagrass, but it's kind of all year round decor. My spring, summer, eat the season uh, kitchen towel, tea towel, which needs a wash. Um, but this was from, this is from the White Company as well. So yeah, we'll bung that in the wash and pop that out 
once that's clean and dry. Some seasonal prints. These were from Primark. Set of three in here. Little bunny cake stand. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along to close off today's vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed spending these last couple of days with me thumbs up if you've enjoyed this content who's excited for spring hands up uh, let me know in the comments below your favorite season if you're an autumn winter girly like me or if also like me you're excited for spring summer <laughs> Not so much. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.